What is going on, everybody? Welcome into the Fantasy Alarm Listener League Draft. I'm Howard Bender, live streaming this entire draft. Uh, it is me. It is Jim Bowden. It is Josh Wagner and Shan Blunt taking on eight lucky listeners from the Sirius XM universe. And uh, again, appreciate you guys tuning in here. I'm not really sure why you are here, but hey, hit that like button. Subscribe to the Fantasy Alarm YouTube page for me as well. That would be a, uh, a huge, huge uh, benefit. All right. I want to make sure that we get everything started on time. I want to shout out everybody who's in this draft right now uh, for being here, not only early, not even on time, but early as well. Uh, it means the world to me. So uh, I just let's, let's just get things started here right now. And, uh, and away we go. Now, uh, you know, I mean, we'll go through it. Oh, no. All right. I automatically have to pause the draft for some reason. It is giving us no. Uh, I don't know why it says on the uh, on the draft board 340 for a pick, but no, that's not the case here. Minute 30 for the pick, everybody. Listen, I'm, I'm multitasking technically here and uh, and video and audio and all this other fun stuff. So uh, just bear with me uh, on on that one here. I will try and figure out why this draft board ain't showing properly. Uh, but again, you know what? we're here. We're having fun. We're having a good time. And I'm waiting on Fools Goldschmidt to make your uh, first pick here. Let me pull out. Where's my draft board? Boom. Here we go, people. I told you I'll get this. I apologize for the technical difficulties. I thought I would have this uh, all set. I was all psyched at myself for having it all set. But uh, nevertheless, here we go. Um, again, you know, some people ask me why I'm doing this. Why are we live streaming this draft in particular? Well, first and foremost, I mean, it is the Fantasy Alarm Listener League draft, right? And we want to be able to, there we go. Look at that. 20 seconds on the clock here. He is just milking that first, first pick uh, for us. And look, wait, 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 why'd you go away? There you are. There you are. So uh, we'll make sure that this happens for everybody. We'll get it all going. <laughs> uh, he better be taking Ronald Acuna there. And Ronald Acuna is the way it goes, as it should. All right, it is my pick. Again, minute 30 on the clock, 12 lucky people here uh, having a great time. I'm going to try and talk you through this draft as much as possible. Once I make my pick here and then just kind of settle in, uh, we'll go through more of the details here. Uh, listen, pick number two, this one to me is a uh, is kind of a no-brainer in the sense that it is a, uh, just a regular old league that we're doing here. Five by five roto league, and uh, and to me, uh, number two on my board is without a doubt, uh, Julio Rodriguez. So we will continue, uh, with Julio, uh, as that, uh, as that number two. Uh, and then we'll go through it. You guys will be able to see the picks here. Uh, I'll give a shout out to everybody in our, our participants, but anyway, people were asking because you don't need me to narrate these picks right here right now i will but we'll we'll recap it we all kind of know which way things are going but anyway people wanted to know they're like you know i want to draft with you what do you like in draft how are you you know how do you draft so i figured this would be a nice little interesting uh off to a rocky start inside look at what my drafts are like what i'm like at my draft so uh first and foremost i will let everybody know i do have my ultimate cheat sheet the grid uh, that I use in, during this draft. I use it as well. You're not going to see me crossing off names myself uh, because I'm going to do it all on a spreadsheet that I have here on the computer. It's just easier for me than to be looking down and uh, paying attention and making sure that I'm crossing off all the names properly here. But I do work off of my cheat sheet, uh, a trusty can of Red Bull. Here we go. We're going with the watermelon flavor today. And then for my mid-draft snack, I've got an Uncrustable, and she's been sitting here defrosting right now. Shout out to my producer, Sham Blunt, for introducing me to the wonderful world of Uncrustables. So damn good. So I am armed with my cheat sheet. I'm crossing off names. I'm going to be going by my cheat sheet, and when I start to deviate a little bit, which is something that you're going to have to do, depending on who gets taken in the draft and whatnot, you know. I'll, de I'll tell you. I'll narrate it. Um, I'm going to try to keep it clean. I don't know. We'll see what happens with, with you know, picks that people make uh, and who's with me here. I've got, uh, you know, 
uh, two listeners actually uh, right on the opposite sides of me. Uh, Jamie, I don't uh, know personally. I do know Mike Stencil. Uh, not we haven't met in person, but Mikey's been with me for well over a decade now here. So uh, very excited to be drafted alongside uh, him as well. A um, couple of other listeners. Scott's in here. Uh, Kim is in here. She's a, a longtime uh, Fantasy Alarm subscriber and uh, follower of me over here. Uh, I got Frank. I got Paul. I got M I Z. I got Brian alongside uh, Wags, Shan, Jim Bowden right there in the middle, and uh, and myself. So uh, we're gonna have a little fun with it here. Like I said, I'll try to keep it clean. If you're gonna be sensitive to to foul language, you probably put your earmuffs on. Uh, you know, you might want to do that. Not right now, but as we're kind of getting through uh, everything in here. So I'm going to start crossing off the names, obviously, as I should have been doing all along, and I will be doing it uh, throughout this draft, just so I can kind of keep track with everything, uh, make sure that I uh, I cross off uh, my, you know, everybody else's, and I always highlight mine, but Again, this is just simple. Just cross off, circle your name, circle the names you have. Because what you're going to do is you're going down through that cheat sheet. You're going to be checking what positions you have. It's just easier to see if you've circled uh, who's on your roster and uh, and just kind of cross off everybody else uh, who was taken. Trust me, you don't want to do it. I want to shout it out to, to, to our, my friends over at rtsports.com. Thank you so much, guys, for uh, you know letting us uh, have the league here. Uh, always so great. Mark, Tim, Logan, you guys are uh, are champs. Jeff Power, you guys have heard him on the Fantasy Alarm Show. Great dudes uh, all around, and thank you so much for uh, for helping us out uh, by hosting the league. But I never go by any default rankings or ADP that's in the site. That's why I always say get your own rankings, do your cheat sheet, make it happen for you because you know you you definitely don't want to you know you don't want to rely on that because all of a sudden they might have a name buried buried i mean we've seen it so many times buried in there um because of you know for whatever reason adp changes or, or whatnot and you want to be able to make sure that you see who you want at what point like that's just that that's a must there so let me get through uh some of these names and just make sure that i'm crossing everybody off did freddie freeman go yes freddie freeman went to my friend kim uh i'm just kind of cruising through here so i'll, I'll just say it this and uh acuna J Rod, Bobby Witt, uh, to to my boy Mike Stencil, good job. Uh, Mookie Betts, I've, I'm so overweight on Mookie Betts uh, that it's uh, hysterical. Corbin Carroll, Juan Soto, uh, to Sham Blunt, she is a very, very happy girl. And uh, and Jim, so kind of you to to let her have Juan Soto as you get your uh, your power speed from Corbin Carroll, Spencer Strider. Comes off the board. A little first pitch there for our guy, Frank. Uh, very interesting there. My boy, Matty Olson. I love him so much. Such a great pick, Paul. Such a great pick. Kyle Tucker, Fernando Tatis. Here you go, Shohei Otani. So, listen, I don't have all the facts. We don't have all the facts. I have not caught up on any recent news here on Shohei Otani. My personal feeling, because that's it. This is just about my personal feeling. I'm not touching him. I'm not touching him. I, you know, even if he doesn't get suspended, listen, if he falls, like he went here at the last pick in the first round, but if he were to fall, like if I were like sitting there at Paul's spot right there and I took Matt Olson and Otani was there available to me, then yes, I would probably take him uh, because of, of just the, the value of that. But I'm a little nervous here. I, I think, I think personally, I think Shoei Otani does not get suspended for this. I think it all falls on his, uh, his illustrious interpreter. And, uh, you know, we get something very similar to, uh, I don't know, think back 20 years ago when uh, a certain linebacker uh, was uh, acquitted of all charges uh, as somebody else took the rap for uh, for something that went down over there. I'm just saying, I, I think we got to, you know, MLB and the Dodgers want to protect Otani as, as much as possible. They want to protect MLB uh, as much as possible. So I expect this dude to fall on his, uh, on his sword. So, all right. Back to the draft here. I'm crossing off some names. Bryce Harper, I got a cross off. Uh, Francisco Lindor, Jordan Alvarez. Very, very interesting here. Uh, nobody's touching my boy, Aaron. Jo oh, there he goes. Jim Bowden finally does it. I was going to say, nobody's touching my boy, Aaron Judge. People afraid of the toe. 
I get it. I get it. I'm going to, I'm going to err on the side of optimistic Yankees fan and, uh, and go with it on, on that front there. So I'm catching up here on crossing off names. Who's going to fall to me here in round two, which way do I go? And obviously it's always a very telling thing. Uh, let's see who leaves me. What for this next pick? I know where I want to go right now, but we'll just have to wait and see. Because uh, I'm, I'm sure if I start to allude, I'm sure if I if I say too much, there you go. Zach Wheeler goes to Scott. I'm sure if I say too much, that somebody's gonna you know kind of wait until I blunder, and then they're gonna be like, oh, yep, grabbing that guy because I know Bender's about to take him. So uh, we shall see uh, right now. And uh, yeah, listen, always a candidate. To go here in the second round for me, I'll just say it, Corey Seager. I'm wearing this T-shirt. This comes from uh, uh, Rich McEwen, longtime listener over at Fantasy Alarm, uh, at Lethal43 on the old Twitter X machine. He lost a bet to me and had sent me a, a, a Corey Seager shirt. He actually sent me two. This is the second one I wore because, you know, obviously the light blue. It makes my eyes pop, and that's what we're all here for, right? Bender's good, rugged looks and uh, and the baby blues. Uh, Mike Stencil really milking the clock here on me, trying to make that decision as to who he's partnering with Bobby Witt. Uh, you know, I wonder if there are any, uh, any questions in the chat. Chat, I got to just mute that for me. Uh, you guys want to ask me any questions, by the way, always, you know, pop in and, uh, and go ahead and, uh, and, and do that. Feel free. Uh, to hit me up. I will try to check back with questions throughout and uh, and we'll make this happen here. Oh, Mike Stencil. Mike is probably, he's probably like at a swim meet or something like that. Oh, there he goes. He goes to uh, Ozzy Alves. I want to shout out to Mike's uh, Mike's son, Holden, who's like all state swimmer in uh, in New York. So unbelievable. Unbelievable. I, I remember when the kid was the size of a sea monkey. How about that? Uh, so, all right. So here you go. It goes to, to, to my pick. And I think pretty much everybody knows where I'm going with this one here. I've been talking about them the entire time. I love getting my power at first base. I do. And uh, our good friend Pete Alonzo has uh, has promised uh, to donate $1,000 per home run uh, to animal shelters across the country. So I'm hoping at least 50 grand going out to, uh, to animal shelters. And so you know me, I'm 100% here for that. I'm 100% here for that. I will support Pete Alonzo in any way, shape, or form, even though he's a Met. Even though he's a Met. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. So, all right. So, it's back to fool's gold for uh, for two picks. I will update my cheat sheet here to make sure that I uh, have everything all set and squared away. We'll see where he goes. We'll see where I go. Now, that the, this is always the interesting question for me. You know, it's a 12-team league. And, you know, nobody's attacking pitching yet. Nobody's attacking pitching at this point. So, you know, when, when I look at that, I see, you know, Strider, Corbin, Burns, and here we are. Do I do I take that now and I say, all right, let me jump on a starter here and, uh, and make that happen? Or do I wait, uh, you know, a, another round or two? Because this, the pitching pool is vastly deep. The number of guys throwing 150 innings is is way diminishing over the last several years. Ah, oh, he takes the Ellie De La Cruz pick right in front of me. All right. Hmm. Where am I going? I'm got I'm not going Ellie De La Cruz. Uh I've got some speed here with uh with Julio Rodriguez and uh and I've got some uh and, and I got power from both him and so the question is is which way do I go? Which way do I go? I you know I kind of feel like because I'm wearing the shirt and I don't have any shares of him right now. I think may, he might get off to a slow start because he hasn't had a full spring. But the talent is just so unbelievable there. I will get some speed later on here in this draft, or at least try to. But for, for my boy Rich McEwen, I'm going to go with a little Corey Seager because I'm wearing the shirt. I mean, it goes right along there. Technically, if, I, if I'm going by my... Uh, Oh, yeah, 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 because I didn't mark off Devers. I'm going by the cheat sheet here, too. So Corey Seager uh, right in there as uh, as the pick uh, for round 3A, which is where we're at right now. Dig it on that. Definitely dig it on that. All right. So, you know, listen, everybody loves their their draft, you know, 
two picks in, three picks in. So I'm not going to sit here and like go, oh my God, I, I'm going to win the league because I got Julio Rodriguez and Pete Alonso and Corey Seager. No, what I'm looking at right now is I'm looking at uh, how I'm building my roster. I've got an outfielder. I've got a corner infielder. I've got a, a middle infielder here. I'm looking at where I'm going. I mean, I, you know, Middle infield, shortstop is in, in particular is extremely deep, and I definitely could have waited on that. Maybe I attack middle infield uh, a little later than I uh, than I usually do, but you know that that's just I'm making that choice. But I've done the the outfielder early and the first base early is a is a move that I continue to make. So I, you know I know how I'm structuring this team. I know when I'm going to go and I'm going to get pitching. I know when I'm going to start looking for closers. Uh, and, and go from there. I just need to see how everything fo- unfolds from the draft uh, from the next two rounds and, uh, and and then go from there. You know, by the time it comes back to me, so many names are going to be off the board. I'm, I'm going to be in the process here of uh, crossing them off. Da, da, da. Gunner Henderson, Lewis Robert. Interesting pick there. Lewis Robert. Uh, you know, that I, I think that might be an interesting debate. Lewis Robert versus Michael Harris the second. Who's the better player? Who's the player you want more? I guess you know you get that power, a little more power from uh, from Robert than from Harris. But the ADP uh, is usually uh, usually a little in the reverse there. So I like that move, Mike Stencil. That's probably a, a little bit of that GM influence uh, for that. Let's see, Vladimir Guerrero. I got a cross off. I got a cross off Luis Castillo. Big fan of Luis Castillo. Big, big fan. Like that a lot. And I already said I crossed off Gunnar Henderson. So, all right. Well, I mean, listen, there's a there's a lot of ways that this can go for me. So, salute. Cheers to everybody out there. Uh, thanks for tuning in here. Uh, I hope to make this uh, remotely fun and entertaining uh, for everybody. Let me scroll back through the chat here. Uh, uh, Andrew Cooper's in the chat here. Team, team Wags, Team Papino. <laughs> I should have gotten the cucumber lime instead of the Red Bull, shouldn't I have? I'm on Team Papino also. Uh, let's see, slow bro. Oh, you're welcome. I appreciate you tuning in. Uh, Brian Fuller, Monster and Fritos. Yeah, I mean, listen, I, you know, what, whatever, whatever you need to get you going there. I like that. Oh, Rod Elliott wants to know who gets Langford, Howard, or Jim. That's where he's interested. Yeah, that's gonna be uh, a very, very telling part. We're uh, we're close enough to each other in the draft. Uh, where are we going to go? Who are we going to do it? Dodgers too powerful to allow him to be suspended. Yep. 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 Very cool. A PD. All right. I said, all right. I want to see where Cole gets drafted. Yeah. That's another one right there. I want to see where Cole gets drafted. Oh man. All right. As we, uh, as we cruise through here, really, are we still on that same, where am I? Where am I in the draft? I'm going to pop the board up there. Oh, there it is. There it is. Nice and live for me. Oh, the O'Neill Cruz move, Frank. Ah, you know, I got to tell you. So for those of you who are, are tuned in here and you are drafting, we're, we're definitely going to be talking about this draft on Monday's show. So pen and paper in hand, 888-963-2682. Give us a shout on Monday uh, and let's let's talk some of this through. I'm really excited to talk some of this through. Uh, the the brazen third round O'Neill Cruz pick out of Frank, I like that. That's bold. I mean, listen, we say it all the time. Gotta go for your guys. Is that an overpay for you know? Is that a reach for for Cruz? I have him down in the sixth early sixth round uh, of drafts, but I'm not gonna sit there and tell you that it's a bad move. We know the ceiling. You're drafting him at his ceiling. You need him to hit his ceiling for you to get positive return value, but. You know, listen, we talk about this all the time. You get guys that you want to root for, guys that, you know, you, you think are going to do good. It does, you know, don't be a slave to the ADP and skip around. Like, I use this cheat sheet, but again, like anything else in drafts, this should all be very fluid. This should be, you, you should be willing to bend. If you want to take a guy who's further down in the cheat sheet because you want that guy, you don't think he's going to come back, do it. Do it. Because again, above all, and listen, I get it. You know, the high stakes people probably tell me to, you know, to to shove it, but they're they're the ones who like fish for upside in a huge, huge way. My feeling is, is you get your guy, right? And this is supposed to be fun, 
right? So, so why, why draft a team of guys? Oh, well, the computer says this is the guy I should have taken. The cheat sheet says this is the guy I should have taken. But I really wanted the other guy. Take your guy. Have some fun with this for crying out loud. I, I get it. You, we all want to be, you know, super serious and we want to win money playing, playing high stakes. But above all, this is a game. This is a game that we're playing. And uh, oh, Wags with the Rutschman pick. Oh, I tell you. Spicy, buddy. Spicy. I like it. I like it. I'm, I'm you know, would have preferred about my team. Whatever. Whatever. Why don't you just stick to your pirates, dude? You haven't taken a single pirate. We're four rounds in. Yeah. Yeah. I block off George Kirby. Uh, Kim takes Yamamoto. Not afraid of uh, of, of what happened in, uh, in, in the Soul Series, which she shouldn't be. And kudos to Kim for taking Yamamoto right there. I like the pick. I think it's a great pick. You know, again, look at what happened with Kodai Senga last year. Kodai Senga, he got banged up. Right? I mean, he got banged around in the uh, in the beginning of the season. And look at his monthly splits the rest of the way. Absolutely spectacular uh, for for him to do it. I uh, I definitely dig on that. Mike Trout goes to Jim Bowden. I like that. Bowden, look at you with all your power there. You had some speed there with uh, with Corbin Carroll, but. Judge Vlad Trout. Boom. Bangers, buddy. Bangers. Ah, man. Where am I going to go with mine? This is going to be this is going to be a really interesting pick here because Jamie hasn't gone pitching either. Nico Horner goes to Scott. Grab some speed there. So CJ Abrams and Nico Horner go right around Jim Bowden, who was uh, you know, supposedly looking for him. But we talked about this on the other show. You know, Nico Horner in the in the you know fifth round we, we were looking at. So maybe Jim thought that he was gonna uh come back around there, but uh we'll have to wait and see. We will definitely have to wait and see what happens here, where we want to go. Oh, I'm really digging on this draft board. Oh, Tyler Glass now goes. See, that I like that I like. All right, so the cheat sheet right now here in round four A. Uh the the last the, the two players who are sitting there. Uh, who are, I guess, of value, uh, Gossman uh, and uh, and Pablo Lopez. Now, I, I'm going to minimize my risk here. I do like Pablo Lopez, though. So I will I will take a picture here just to have a little anchor on the staff. That's, that's what I want to do. I want to make sure I get somebody uh, who I really like over there. I mean, the question, again, it's a 12-team league. It's, it's deep player pool. I know I could probably get uh, you know, a lot more pitching later on. It's temp it's just too tempting though. It's too tempting. It's it it deviates a little bit from what I personally normally do. It jibes here with the cheat sheet. Gossman's got the injury right now. Lopez does not. You know, I, I I'm a I'll tell you why I'm a little nervous about Lopez, only in the sense that so many people are on him. So many people are on him, and you guys have you know been with me for however long you've been with me. Uh, and and it's true. Like it's when somebody when everybody's on somebody, when that person becomes like super, super chalk, uh, then I tend to shy away from it. And uh and and, and that always has me concerned. Always has me concerned, but I don't know. We'll see. We got that anchor ace there. Uh, very curious as to see the way the rest of it goes. I'm looking at the, like the, you got to look at the draft board here and who's taking starters and who isn't taking starters. Uh, you know, I, I expect Jim to, to not be taking starters here. Uh, or maybe in this round here, if a couple of starters come off the board, maybe he makes that jump, but yeah, I expected Jim to go heavy on the offense here. Um, and yeah. And then we've got on the, uh, on the back end, M I Z and, uh, George Brett's pine tar, <laughs> pine tar band from, uh, from Brian. They're all offense there. All right. So he goes, Cody Bellinger, Cody Bellinger. This is definitely, this is an offense. Uh, this is an offensive group. This is definitely an offensive group. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to, I'm going to stay with the cheat sheet. I'm going to stay with, uh, with, with offense here. Uh, and I'm going to go with, Oh no, maybe I won't. Maybe I won't. Oh man. Oh yeah. There he is. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Why. I was a little nervous there, but, uh, I'm going along with the cheat sheet here and I'll take Roy Lu Royce Lewis. 
big fan of the player. Um, you know, it's just something I've, I've, you know, Jim and I have talked about. It. Obviously, Jim, Jim put me onto uh, onto Royce Lewis last year, um, and uh, and I felt you know very lucky to be ahead of the curve there, and uh, and and with Royce Lewis uh, is going to bring to the table here. So I'm just kind of you know jumping around here. Uh, looking for uh, an improvement on what he did last year. I mean, the minor league numbers show that there's uh, that there's power, that there is speed. Uh, 15 home runs last year, definitely uh, you know something I wanna I wanna build on there. It also locks me in with a uh, a nice corner infielder. Um, you know, again, a position that I've been I've been waiting on third base a lot lately. Um, I, I know lately, right? Today's Sunday, and the season's gonna start. <laughs> Um, you know, I've been, I've just been, I've been doing a lot of the, the, uh, the, the Jake Berger thing. And, uh, and so I, I've been waiting on the position. So this is going to allow me to kind of mix it up a little bit here, uh, take on Royce Lewis and, uh, and, and work my way through the rest of this draft, uh, and doing things a little differently from, uh, from how I've been doing them. So, um, I like that pick that Manny Machado pick there for, uh, for, for Mike, but one of the things that I've said, and one of the reasons why I've been waiting on, on the third base position is because you can get Jake Berger six rounds later and Berger's a 30 home run bat. And, and I get it. You know, you want to, maybe you want to see him do it again, but like Machado's on his way down. Yes. The power's still there and he's a 30 home run bat, but you know, the, the, the batting average has taken a significant drop. And, and the question is, is, you know, do you want the player who's on his way up? Do you want the player who's on his way down? And let's see what, you know, Berger does. You know, at worst, I think it's it's a wash. I really do, and I think that you're just better off getting the uh, the the bargain price uh, for Jake Berger. But I'm going to take I took Royce Lewis here to uh, you know again, like I said, mix it up a little bit. First, third, short, taken care of, outfield pitcher. Um, we'll see where we go. I thought about uh, the possibility of going catcher there with uh, with JT Real Muto, but you know, I've kind of been even though this is a two catcher league kind of shied away from it uh a little bit let's go over to the chat here what do we got going on uh oh shan had to have abrams too that's cool shan that's cool you know you gotta get your players gotta get your nats uh let's look at shan's team here let's let's go to it and let's uh let's kind of move through i mean make sure that i'm crossing off the names appropriately Tariq scoobal uh off the board I like that pick Boom. Let's go to Shannon Nanner one. You follow her on TikTok. It's Shannon Nanner one for all that animal crossing uh, stuff uh, that she does there. A lot of, uh, a lot of uh, little private messages that I get good videos. Uh, Taylor Swift, a lot of baseball. What does Shan got? Juan Soto. Chalk pick. We know Francisco Lindor. I like it. Power speed. Luis Castillo. Got yourself an ace. Going to go and in, eat some innings. Uh, CJ Abrams gets you more speed. Uh, and, you know, listen, according to, to Jim a little ways ago, uh, you know, the, the little bit of power there as well. So you get 15, 15 to, to 15 home runs and uh, I don't know, 20, 30 stolen bases out of CJ Abrams. Uh, I think that's a win. Nolan Jones. I like that too. We, that's another player we've been talking about uh, on the show a bunch. Um, he did get, a foul ball off of his uh, his foot yesterday. Did we get any kind of uh, update on Nolan Jones? Let me uh, let me sneak a quick peek here, uh, not to scare you at all, Sham. But let's see. Oh, uh, yeah, a knee injury, but it's minor. So he fouled the ball off of the inside of his knee. Ouch. Had to be you know helped off a little bit, but it sounds like he's going to be fine. Uh, he escaped. And what I like about that pick then for for Shan even more is obviously. Um, he's a power speed guy. That's a dude who could go 20, 20 plays half his games in course field. So I, I think it's a great pick. So good, good blend there, uh, of power and speed from Shan, uh, with an ace pitcher just slapped right in the middle of it. So it's good stuff. It's good stuff. And you know what? And I also like the fact that, you know, she, she didn't care that she's got two short stuff. That's, that's her middle infielder, uh, is taken care of there because you got to put, start somebody there anyway. You take the better player. You take the better player. All right, let's see. Who went where that I'm crossing names off here? Oh, how did I miss the Jazz Chisholm pick? Damn. Frank. Frank. 
I, I mean, Allison, I like what you're doing there, Frank. I see it. I like it. Just, you know. Mm. Max Freed, Logan. Oh, there's Logan Webb. I'm surprised Logan Webb lasted that far uh, in comparison. I would have taken Webb ahead of Scooble. I would have taken Webb ahead of Freed. I probably would have taken him ahead of, uh, of Framber Valdez. So I think you just got a, a nice little pick there. There's Freddie Peralta and Max Freed. I can cross those guys off. And uh, let's see. Where else are we? Man, we are, we are cruising through. There's somebody with the Kevin Gossman pick. There it is. Uh, you know, listen, you wouldn't be George Brett's pine tar band if, uh, Brian, if you didn't slap in a whole mess of risk here, right? So we got a, a banged up Kevin Gossman uh, going alongside a, uh, a, 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 we don't know, Otani there. Goldschmidt Walker, a couple of first basemen off the board. I like that for sure. Let's see. Let's see. Where are we going? Where are we going? I'm just trying to follow along with the commentary for everybody here as well. I like what's going on. Oh, I didn't even, is there a chatter in the draft room there? There's probably some chatter in the draft room. I had to turn off all my sound notifications. It was like, ah, oh, man. It was like, a, like you know, something that they play for like sleep deprivation so you can't focus. I'm also just thinking about this stupid Uncrustable. I really am. Like, you know, I mean, obviously I've, uh, you know, treated my glaucoma earlier here before this draft. I didn't want to do it right here uh, for in front of everybody. But I really, I'm thinking about that Uncrustable. <laughs> Welcome to Drafting with Howard Bender, folks. This is it. Usually I've got like, I've got a fish show going on. I'm like just grooving to some music here. And uh, and yeah, and I'm having a great time during a draft. That's that's how I like to draft. Wow. There it is. There it is, people. Frank does it again. He does the O'Neill Cruise Reach. He scrambles and grabs a little jazz chism there. Uh, Tariq Skubal followed up by the Wyatt Langford pick. Holy bajolis. I mean, listen, you knew if you wanted him in this league that you were going to have to, you know, you were going to have to draft him early. You knew that I'm here. Jim's here. Wow. Kim with the two catcher strategy there, real Mudo and Will Smith that I, you know, it's not a move I would have done, but I totally get it. I totally get it. That is, uh, that was incredible. That was, uh, this is like back-to-back -back picks here, kind of blowing my mind. I feel like it might be shaking the GM a little bit here too, because I'm, I'm a little shook by this. That's two big moves like that. Sham Blunt takes Blake Snell, San Francisco Giants' finest. Uh, as her second starter, the GM takes Alex Bregman. So, all right, Alex Bregman uh, off the board here. Okay. Oh, Matt McClain. Uh, why is he not highlighted in red in my version? Howie's version needs a, a little fixing <laughs> over here. Bregman. All right. So I'm up to date on everything. Uh, the, the cheat sheet's telling me to go closer. Oh, Estieri Ruiz comes off the board. Stolen bases. Just getting yanked. Every which way. Stolen bases are just getting yanked. Wow. Wow. So again, so the cheat sheet's telling me to go closer, but nobody's going closer here. Josh Hader's the only closer off the board. So, I mean, do I need either Edwin Diaz or Camilo Doval or Emmanuel Classe? No, I don't think so. I definitely don't think so. Oh, Edwin Diaz off the board, so uh, I'm fine not taking that. Now, according to the cheat sheet here, it's got a starter in Grayson Rodriguez, who I actually really, really like. But do I need that pitcher here, or better to try and get somebody who's doing some uh, who's doing some stolen base work a little bit? Doesn't have to be an abundance of it. Just you know, contribute in that category. So I am going to actually I'm going to go back to my outfield, and I'm going to bank on the the, the, ho the hope, the probability that the hip issue is not going to be 
a significant issue. And I'm going to take me some Josh Lowe because he does hit for power and he can steal bases. Uh, maybe they take it a little early on him, you know, take it a little easy on him early on in the season. But, yeah, I can't, I can't not, you know, not do that, especially seeing, you know, pick him behind me here. Uh, you know, he's got some power with uh, with his guys, but he could use a little speed there. Oh, look at that. So, Fools Goldschmidt goes the, the closer route uh, with Yon Duran. Uh, who could miss up to a month. I don't know how I feel about that pick. Could miss up to a month uh, with his current oblique situation. So, wow, look at this. This is a very interesting draft. It's got me, you know, scratching my beard a little bit here. Scratching my beard, I'm going to take a little swig. A little Red Bull. Which way are we going to go? Which way are we going to go? He goes catcher. He goes with Contreras, which I like the pick. I like the pick. I, I, I can still wait on the catcher position. I'm not I'm not really worried about that. Um, you know, I don't want to reach for, for another stolen base contributor. I don't want to reach too much for that because I don't want to overcommit to going after stolen bases. I can, you know, be happy with the power of Julio and Alonzo and Seager and you know, Royce Lewis, and I'll get power out of Josh Lowe. So I think what I'll do is I'll stay with kind of what the cheat sheet's saying. I'm not going to bite on the closers here because, again, I'm just not seeing a, a big bite taken out of them. Maybe I'm wrong, and, and this will be the round where everybody starts taking them because we just saw Duran and uh, and Edwin Diaz. But, you know, I am gonna, I'm, I'm just going to go back to the pitching here, take another guy who, uh, you know, I think he's an absolute ace in the uh, in the making, and uh, and that's Grayson Rodriguez. I'm just gonna go right along with my cheat sheet. I am going to practice what I preach and booyah, Grayson Rodriguez. So, all right. So now I, I can you know kind of thumb through uh, uh, enough of this. We'll see where everybody goes. That's one of the bonuses of being here on the end. Now. What you also have to remember, and, and I wrote this up in the in the last mock draft that I uh, that I wrote up for the uh, for Fantasy Alarm, uh, it's in the draft guide. I might, I think I might have said it for free though, so anybody can uh, go and check that out. Go and look for uh, you know uh, mock draft uh, two, you know number two. Or no, number three. I mean, number three, because I talked about picking on the wheel. Because I believe I was, uh, I was there. You know, and, and certain strategies and things like that that you need to understand. Yeah, you know what? You're gonna, you're probably gonna have to reach um, for a player because so many picks. Look at how many picks are gonna go back and forth here. Like I, I, I know the general area of where I want to go with my, uh, with my players, my categories, and stuff like that, but. So much is going to happen here, and players are just going to keep coming off the board. I got to make sure that I keep pace with them there, and I cross off Yelich, Santander. Um, it's brazen. It's brazen. I've got him much further down on my cheat sheet. I, I'm not going to crap on the pick. Might be a little early, but you never know. Uh, Lehigh Valley Iron, Iron Pigs means he's close enough to. He's close enough to Baltimore. Uh, that he could actually be a fan here as well. I, I, you know, we'll see. If that's the case, then I'm glad I took Grayson Rodriguez because maybe that might have uh, upset him a little bit. I always love to see and try to get into, into people's heads here. Xander Bogarts to Jim Bowden. Hassan Kim goes to Shan Blunt. I like that. Cole Raggins. Reagans, Raggins. Somebody correct me for crying out loud. Uh, he comes off the board there. I like that pick. Uh, now the watch is on here because, you know, we're, we're almost to the point where I'm like, hmm, will this guy be available to me when it comes back to me? Because it's a player who I really like, and I don't think I have any shares of, of this player. So I don't want to give anything away, again, because there are people, uh, there are people listening. Who, who's, who's in here? Who's in the room? Who's in the room? Who's who's they aren't stupid. They are great. Who said something? What's stupid? Hmm, I don't know what she's talking about. 
I had Langford and Q ready. Oh, Shan was going to go after him. Oh, I guess maybe we're talking on Crustables. I don't know. Uh, I was between Lowe and Diaz, worried about that hip. Yeah, I'm a little, you know, a little worried about the hips. Uncrustables are the best. Uncrustables are delicious. And Shan, I, I can't thank you enough for tuning me on to these. Um, I, I tried at, at a recommendation uh, the toasted Uncrustables, and it was good. Didn't blow me away. I don't know why. Maybe it's the the little child in me, the my my inner child screaming that he likes the uh, the the soft squishy bread, no crust cut off. But the toasted wasn't wasn't terrible there. It wasn't terrible. <laughs> All right, let's see where are we going here, people? Where are we going? Make your picks, damn it! Bender's on the move. Seiya Suzuki comes off the board. Frank's team. I like your style, Frank. I don't mean to just single you out here, but I'm kind of just liking the style of this uh, this draft that you're putting together. Spencer Steer to Paul. I love the Steer pick here, especially even, you know, you've got Arenado there at third. You're going to be able to utilize Steer in the outfield, in the hot corner. It's going to kick in like, you know, 10, 12 stolen bases maybe. Um, I dig that. I like that pick. Lizardo off the board to Wags. Boom. Let's see. And we're wrapping up round number seven. Good pace, everybody. I like this a lot. Uh, again, thanks, anybody, for uh, for tuning in. Uh, if you're just joining us, this is the Fantasy Alarm Listener League live draft. It's five by five. Uh, regular categories is average, not OBP. We're doing daily roster moves um, for hitters. For pitchers, it's, it's weekly. Sorry. It's just the way it's going to be. Um, and, uh, and yeah, we're just going to take this to the rest of the season. It's fab bidding for waivers. So, uh, you know, everybody's going to get their, uh, their, their $100 budget at the, uh, at the start of the season. And then it's going to get feisty. Um, I, I will allow $0 bids, though. I will allow $0 bids because I think that's, you know, also uh, r relatively important. But, you know. You might not actually not even need to do zero dollar bids. We might just do, yeah, because if we just do the minimum one dollar on waivers and then we just open it up once waivers clears, then it can be like a first come first serve uh, waiver period until, uh, yeah, no, no, fab weekly only. That's it. Zero dollar bids. I'm going to allow it. <laughs> just making shit up as I go along here now. Um, all right, Emmanuel Classe, Yandi Diaz off the board. Uh, Brian Reynolds, I don't want to miss that one there. Okay. And uh, and here we go. Wags on the clock. Uh, Yaner Diaz. Not Yandi Diaz. Yeah, make sure that I uh, always get that. Oh, Yandi, Yandi went and then Yaner went. <laughs> You guys, what are you doing to me here? We just knock names off the board. Iglesias comes off the board. Wags jumping in onto that closer market. Class A had gone to uh, Brian. Let's see where we're going. I know Bowden ain't going for a closer. That's for damn sure. Um, all right, let's see. So if I'm looking at the cheat sheet right now as it's creeping up my way, uh, I'm looking for. I'm always want to see the uh, the value. That's that's kind of what I want to check out. I want to check out the value uh, and make sure that I'm not leaving something on the table that I probably shouldn't. Mm. Where's Frank going here? Where are you going, Frank? Hmm. Make your pick. <laughs> Um, all right, very interesting looking at what's available to me. Mm, 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 mm. And where I got here, I'm covered. I got some outfield, I got some infield help, I got some pitching help. Oh, Frank, just milking this clock, buddy, aren't you? Aren't you? That's all right. That's all right, dude. I right, listen, I can hang out. Listen, I didn't, you know, oh, Matt McClain. Interesting. Kim, going to do the draft and stash. We do have four IL spots. So Kim is going to make that move, and she's going to grab a little 
Matt McLean. All right, let's see. Let's see. Sham Blunt on the clock. Yeah, I didn't promise anybody just, you know, direct commentary for every single moment. I know I've been, I think I've been talking incessantly since this whole thing started. I haven't shut up yet. I might at some point here or another uh, as we're going through. Cal Raleigh. Mm. Interesting pick. That's a, that's, that's an, it's an interesting reach. I would say that's an interesting reach. We're going to have to ask Sham Blunt why she opted to go with Cal Raleigh. The GM takes Logan Gilbert, Evan Phillips, another closer off the board here. So lots still available here to me. <laughs> Where do I want to go? So, all right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna reach down a little bit in the cheat sheet here, depending on where Mikey Stencil goes here with uh, with with his pick. I'm gonna take a player because I don't have any shares of him. I really like where he's at right now, and uh, you know, again, it's gonna. I, I, I like the boost. I also think that you know, with the fact that you know, there's only two picks behind me before my next pick, uh, I can do that. So, hmm. As soon as Mike makes his pick. T -t today junior oh okay there you go bobby miller that is not the player i was looking at i do i like that pick uh now again the cheat sheet's telling me gliber torres kyle schwaba jordan romano andres munoz but i'm gonna go down a little bit here and i'm going to take a player that i've wanted i like where he's at this is going to be a very positive move for him and that is dylan cease dylan cease i i okay so i'm gonna probably just be leaving pitching alone for uh for for quite some time here because these three guys atop my uh my rotation obviously yes you could say well you know uh, Who's going to be healthy or whatever? But Pablo Lopez, Grayson Rodriguez, and Dylan Cease, just to just to bang that out right there. Because again, I'm going to have to look for guys with some speed throughout the draft, but I don't want to I don't want to rush it that much. I don't want to push it that much. I want to be able to, you know, we can trade in this league. So if I need to trade for speed a little later on, then I'm going to trade for speed a little later on. Maybe there's some names. Uh, down at the very bottom of drafts where I'm, I'm going to take a look and sneak a peek for. But, you know, again, you never want to, like, that's the thing. You never want to, like, you know, reach too much in order to get the, uh, the, the you know, added stolen bases if, if, you're, if you're lacking at that position. Um, there are other ways to kind of build it up. So you don't want to leave better value somewhere else. By taking that, you know, by, by shooting after that player. So, uh, you know, I'm, Going back to offense here, I'll see where 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 Fools Goldschmidt goes here. It's pretty obvious I'm going back to offense. The question is, is you know where am I going? Where am I going? Who am I going to take? Because uh, I'm not shy about any of these players uh, who are listed here. Mm -mm -mm. Although, oh, you take Zach Eflin. Although now here's a name. <laughs> Here's a name, and the question is, is do you reach for – I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Uh, it's too funny. Just to, to have the thought. That's the thought process in my head. We'll see where Fools Goldschmidt goes uh, with, this, uh, with this next pick. But I'm going somewhere. Paul Seawald went for the closer. Went for the closer again. All right. I mean – yeah, a lot of people just jumping at those closers. I'm going to skip on the closers. I'm not going for that. So here's where I'm going because I just, oh, I, you know, this does give me some stolen bases. I've got, oh, wait a minute. Did I not cross off a name? See, there you go. There you go. I did not cross off a name. Ironically, somebody on Frank's team. I was about I was looking. I was like, "Where's Gliber? I'm just gonna take Gliber." That doesn't happen. But what that does open up for me uh, that I just kind of saw with my own two eyes. I, you know, I mean, I'd like to isolate that moment on the video and just be like, "Oh, 
and catch that look on. Oh, but here you go. It's going to give me some stolen bases. That's going to cover me at second base right now. I'm going to take a little Bryson Stott. Jim and I were talking about Bryson Stott uh, the other day on uh, on the show and who we were looking at, Stott or uh, Andres Jimenez. And, uh, and I'm not going to say the GM swayed me, but I'm going to jump into Oh, yeah, he did. He was like, he was telling me that Stott was hitting like fifth in the lineup or something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what it was. So I'm going to make that move there. I got Bryson Stott. I've got some more stolen bases uh, over here. So I feel good about that. I definitely do. So, all right, Tristan Cassis off the board. I can cross him off. Evan Carter off the board. This is going to be that draft where Jim and I just no, – no, neither of us get the, uh, the, the hot young rookies. Everybody else is taking them. Jake Berger goes to Sham Blunt. She's getting her burger on it. She's a hot dog girl, but she's getting her burger on at third base. I like that. I like that move. It's a good power move there. Jackson Churio. That was the thought process. Like all of a sudden, I was like, ah, oh, do I reach for Jackson Churio here? Because he's going to steal some bases. But I, you know, like that was like that was the thought process there. And do I make that move? And that was that moment that I was I was kind of looking at. I was uh, looking for Gliber. And realized he was gone. And I was thinking about Jackson Churio and just making that just that that fun reach. I don't need to make the fun reach here. So um, you know, Bryson Stott was just it was a much better pick for me. It was a smarter pick. We're gonna get great value on that. And uh yeah, the uh, you know, the players, there were some closers out there who uh who you know are are around a round or two higher than Stott in the cheat sheet, but again, you have to take with what the uh what the room is giving you. You know, and if the room isn't touching uh, the closers, then you can afford to wait on them. Uh, Kyle Schwarber is the only uh, the only hitter that I have is a, uh, a you know at a higher spot in the grid, but this is a batting average league, and I feel comfortable with the power that I have already. So making a move like Schwarber, who's going to damage my batting average more than he's going to help. I mean, I could go after a Luis Arise later on for that, maybe, but. No, that's not, that's not where I'm uh, where I'm gonna go. Uh, Anthony Volpe off the board. That goes to Paul. Wags on the clock. How are you all feeling out there? How's everyone doing? Let's see. Shan just want you just wanted a catcher. That was it. That's why you took Cal Raleigh. Come on, Shan. That's it's not just not the the catcher that you should have taken. There's so many more catchers better. Jim and I were sitting there talking about a bunch of those catchers on, on the Would You Rather for crying out loud. Cal Raleigh. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, yeah, Paul McMillan needs Volpe to run. Yeah, we definitely need Volpe to run. No doubt about it. Very excited for that. Very excited. All right, where are we going? Where are we going? I'm still holding off on the Uncrustable. We're not even halfway through the draft yet. Stop pressuring me to eat the Uncrustable. I know nobody wants to hear me eat an Uncrustable on camera. Oh, yeah. Howard, do I just mail you my address for the fantasy trophy? Come on. Really, Stencil? Really? All right. Let's break it down. Let's take a look. Let's see where he's going here. Bobby Witt, power speed. RBI and run scored. We'll see what that looks like. Ozzy Albies, I dig him. Lewis Robert, yep. Glass now. I'm gonna monitor his workload. Could go to a six man rotation with Yamamoto there also. I wouldn't be surprised if the Dodgers limit those innings. We'll see about that, Mike. Machado, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good thing you get those stats from the Soul Series. Mazel tov. Uh, Edwin Diaz, yeah. Closer. Mets. <clears throat> Yelich, okay. Bobby Miller, I like. Cassis, we'll see. I think a lot of more, a lot more people are more bullish on Cassis than I am. Maybe I'm a Yankee fan and I'm just a homer uh, for that aspect, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, all right, I got to cross some more names off here. Make sure that I'm staying in touch with everything. Volpe, I got Springer. That's an interesting pick. Uh, Wags with Springer. Musgrove and Bybee go to Miz. So Musgrove 
and Bobby. I've got them right next to each other there in the cheat sheet. Sean Murphy off the board. Nick Castellanos off the board. Jordan Walker goes to Josh Wagner. So Jim gets none of his favorite players. There's no Juan Soto, no Jordan Walker, no Wyatt Langford for the GM. Uh, I can't, I can't wait for the jukebox Monday dedication. <laughs> oh shit. That's going to be a good one. Cedric Mullins off the board to Paul. Mm. All right. Am I thinking about my pick right now? Am I thinking about my pick? No, I'm thinking about this freaking uncrustable still. Son of a bitch. Um, all right. I should be thinking about my pick. I do like the fact that I've got three strong aces there. There's a lot more pitching sitting on the board. Not really worried about the closer situation here. So where does Howard Bender go with this next pick? I can go, let's see. I mean, I've got a lot of stuff, great stuff filled in here. So far on Bender's roster. Um so Pete Alonzo at first, Bryson Stott at second, Royce Lewis at third, Corey Seager at short. So I'm all covered there. Middle and corner available. Two outfield spots taken up by Julio and Lowe and three starting pitcher spots. So good balance there as far as like the actual draft itself goes. Not that I ever seek that out. It just so happens that it fell that way. And so I guess the real question is, is which way am I thinking about going? For this next pick, it's all sneaking up on me. Oh, Shan takes Torkelson. I was eyeballing him. Shanner, Nanner, Bassett, Sale off the board. Bassett, Sale off the board. Very interesting. Very, very interesting here. Mm, 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 mm. Dang. Dang, where do I want to go? A couple of interesting spots here. Yeah, man. I mean, I should, I should think about Lane Thomas off the board. So let me take Lane Thomas off the board. So I'm just kind of looking around at things here. I could grab middle infield with a couple of good spots. I could grab another starting pitcher if I want. Oh, I tell you what, you know, because people are kind of leaving it alone and I don't want to be like too far without, then I'll just, uh, I'll take a great arm on a competitive team and I'll just do it. There you go. Andres Munoz as uh, as my closer. I'm going to bypass Jordan Romano just because he's, you know, a little, a little on the banged up side there. But I'll take Andres Munoz there. I'll take the value here at, a, at, at as, a, as a decent closer. I mean, we are – what freaking round are we in? Yeah, we're in round 10. I got him as like an early seventh-round pick in most home leagues, so I'll take care of that. Jorge Soler off the board. Um, and Josh Naylor off the board. All right. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy into buy in, should I, should I buy into the hype. I'm going to buy into the hype. Jim Bowden, you got me all hyped about it. Everybody seems to be hyped about it. So I'm going to reach, uh, you know, I'm going to reach a little bit. And I'm going to go to the catcher position here. And I'm going to continue to add some power. And, uh, and that's going to mean Francisco Alvarez. So a pair of Met power hitters here. We're going to see what happens. I don't know how I feel about it. I just, once I just said two Mets on my team, I just kind of got like a, like a queasy feeling. A little bile came up. I need to. Oh. Oh. I'm going to do it. I mean, I, I'm going to do it. I did it. <laughs> There's no going back. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do it and, uh, and 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 stick with it and be happy uh, that, that that's there. I don't really want to, um, but that's that's where I'm at. 
All right. Okay. Francisco Alvarez. I probably should have just taken Gabe Marino or Sal Perez, actually. I probably should have just taken Sal Perez. But I'll go with the hype play here and, uh, you know. <laughs> Hope that uh, hope that we uh, we score some uh, some interviews with the Mets uh, later on, so at least I can say uh, that I went. Shannon Nanner, she got auto picked into a into Yuri Perez. Shannon Nanner, was that a pick you wanted? Hmm. Uh, let's let's communicate here. Oh, is this board not updating? If I as I'm clicking around, is the board freeze on everybody? Ah, oh, geez, whiz. That uh, that that's a shame. Why did anybody? Somebody should have told me that one there, huh? Oh man. All right, I will. Uh, I will leave that there. Let's see. What if I click onto this page? No. Okay. As long as this sucker is uh, is open, it's working. All right. All right. Well, we'll figure this all out. I'll figure it all out. We'll see what happens. Um, all right. Well, Shan, uh, if you're trapped under something heavy and need help, you should text me. Let's see. Oh, no text from Sham Blunt. All right. Well, I mean, she's got herself who she's got. Now I got to go to my sheet here and I got to start marking some names off again to catch up from all of that. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Marte and Jimenez both off the board. I definitely eyeballing those two. Um, Sonny Gray, Yuri Perez off the board. A couple of banged up kids. Here's hoping that everybody is fine in the long run. I've got tons of Yuri Perez. Um, let's see. Tyro Estrada and Joe Ryan off the board. Yeah, sorry, folks. I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna kind of carry myself through here. Um Perez Duran. Riley Green. Ah, there's the Luis Arise pick. You're always wondering when that was going to come. Who was going to take the batting average help there from the uh, the batting average champion? Uh, no less. So, good stuff. All right, I'm just making sure everything is streaming through and everybody can see Zach Geloff. It's weird. I think Zach Geloff is going to be an interesting one for me to watch because I haven't been in on him the entire spring. Maybe I'm just down on all things Oakland A's, but yeah, I've just, you know, I, I don't have any shares of him. I haven't been recommending him to anybody. So I'm curious to see what happens with him. You know, always happy to always, you know, I'm, I'm fine being wrong on players. I, I am. You know, what I don't like is when I recommend somebody to you and they suck or when you know, I specifically tell you not to target a guy and he's really good. But, you know, it's it's never been like, a, no, don't go after Zach Geloff. It's always just been, yeah, you know, I mean, to me, he's like he's a player that you end up with, not a player that you uh, that you start, you know, that, that you target. How about that? Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. Um, all right. So. Let's cruise through and see where we are again. Nolan Gorman, ah, Paul from St. Louis. He takes the player that he pitched to us uh, on the show. I love that move, Paul. That's putting your money where your mouth is. Uh, there it is, baby. Balls to the wall on that one. Nolan flipping Gorman. 
Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Paul called in on Friday's show. We asked him to pitch us a player, and it was right down to it was down to to Nolan Gorman uh, from Paul, and then uh, and then another guy calling up talking about Parker Meadows, and uh, and and the GM made the final call on that and went with Nolan Gorman, uh, and uh, and I was like, yo, yeah, listen, man, a thirty home run bat at second base, you're getting him that late. If he can, if he can just bring up his average even just a little bit, I mean, it's it's definitely it's just there's too much power uh, to be had there. There's just way too much power to be had. So, um, all right, it's coming up on me. It's creeping up on me right now. Let me make sure that I got my cheat sheet current here. Dansby Swanson. I checked off Nolan Gorman, Logan O'Hoppy off the board. Uh, Alexis Diaz. Oh, there's Jim. Jim Bowden makes the Garrett Cole move. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. We knew that was coming. He said he was going to do it at some point. Here it is, round twelve, which is where uh, where where it went in the uh, in the last draft that I did. Yeah, it was the uh, the fantasy alarm listener league draft. So, all right, this one's uh oh, Kim, Kim. Christian Encarnacion Strand. I was going to take him. Oh, I have no shares of him. Kim. Kim. It's a good pick, Kim. It's a good pick. Ah, oh, that hurts me a little bit. That, mm, that stings. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little... A little for Klempt. Nathan Evaldi goes to Scott. Nathan Evaldi. Where do I have Nathan Evaldi on my sheet? Where the hell is he? How far down? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's pretty telling, Scott, on how I think of Nathan Eovaldi. Jonah Heim comes off the board. All right. So where am I going with this next pick here? I am, ah, man, the Christian Encarnacion strand move. Really, it does. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Damn. The question is, is do I go innings eater pitcher or somewhere else? Ah, I tell you. Boy, this one really, I'm shook. Kim, I don't think, I, you know what, Kim? I'm, I, I might ban you from email advice for like, I don't know, a day. Damn, 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 damn. You know what? Here you go. I'm just, I'm just going back to catch her now. And I'm gonna I'm gonna do the the lower budget version of what Kim did. Actually, she went JT Realmuto and Will Smith back to back. So I'll go Francisco Alvarez and Gabriel Marino uh, back to back. So I am I'm just I'm I'm shaken here right now by that move. Mm. Mm. I can't say God damn it. It's going to offend some people. Uh, if you're offended, uh, apologies there. Jackson Holiday and Muncie off the board. So Holiday off the board. You know, he won't be there for a month, right? And then uh, and then Muncie. I like the Muncie call there. Um, all right. All right. Holy cow. Holy cow. Mark it down. Bender's world flipped upside down here. What the hell? What the hell? I'll just take innings and I'll take Merrill Kelly. Uh, I thought Christian Encarnacion Strand was going to fall to me. Kim, why? <laughs> uh, all right, listen, you know what? Got to do it. All right, some corner infielders off the board here. Should that have been my move? I don't know if that should have been my move. Alec Baum, 
bomb, 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 bomb. Can't say bomb on an airplane. Bomb, bomb, bomb. It's a quote from a movie. Just in case anybody's listening in and concerned uh, at all. Where are we going? Look at that. Yeah, it's like a corner infield run here. Isak Paredes off the board. Alec Baum off the board. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, the Jackson Merrill pick from the GM. Jackson Merrill qualifying at shortstop here. Right? That's that's I find that to, that's always the, the 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 interesting one. He's playing the outfield, but he's qualifying at shortstop, which is huge. It's absolutely huge. Where the heck do I have Jackson Merrill? Do I have him in the uh I think I have him in the cheat sheet in the outfield? Son of a beasting. Well, let me just do a search here. Yeah, there he is. Oh, I do have him in the shortstop area. Okay. Cross him on off. Marcelo Zuna, Clay Holmes, the closer. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, it's some funny shit. Some people think it's funny. I don't know. I don't know. Um, all right, so I'm all caught up there. Uh, good stuff all around here. Is uh, are we streaming the proper stuff here? Is the draft board moving and grooving on the stream? Let's see. Just notice I haven't value Fox E says 12 man five by five is you're on a big risk at pick 11. Just take Olsen or Treya. I don't think there's a big risk there. I mean, Jordan Alvarez, I mean, he's not going to give you the stolen bases, but neither is Matt Olson. Um, and so it's really, it's just a matter of, you know, where you want to be, you know, how you want to build your team. I think Jordan Alvarez at, at pick 11 is perfectly fine. I definitely do. Um, you know, all the, all the main power speed guys are off the board. So, you know, go with a specialist here. And, uh, and I think Alvarez is, uh, is perfectly fine. Uh, option for sure. Geloff will get more uh, more live with the the McLean injury. Well, what is that? You know, Geloff's on Oakland. McLean is in Cincinnati, so I don't know about that. Meadows is raking from Angelo. Yes, you know what? Uh, Parker Meadows does look good. He does look good. Spicy there. Just need the average to come up a little more. Kelly is too under. Kelly is too underrated. I agree with that statement there for sure. Uh, Kelly is definitely on the underrated side. Um, let's see. Let's see. Go live there. All right. Shit's moving and grooving now. Um. Dun, 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 dun. Let me just refresh this page here so I can make sure that I'm getting all the commentary properly. Um, all right. How are we all doing here? How are we all doing? How are we feeling? Oh, shit. I got to catch up here on my uh, on my cheat sheet there. Look at That's a lot of picks off the board there. Cabrian Hayes, I got. That was probably the last one. Pete Fairbanks. We're going back to the closers here. Mitchie Keller. Mitch, 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 Mitch. <laughs> We're coming for you, pal. Chaz McCormick and Chris Morell off the board. Look at that. I've got them right next to each other in the cheat sheet. Bednar and Waka. All right. So Bednar. Boom. And Waka, 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 Waka. Who took Waka? That was uh, that was Brian at the tail end there. I like the Waka pick. It's a sneaky pick. Might have been able to wait on him in, uh, in other drafts. But again, yeah, go and get your guys. Um, all right. Vinny Pasquantino. Pasquatch. Going. Gone. Walker Bueller. Good riddance. Take him. Don't want him. Don't need him. Couldn't afford him if I did. Edward Julian goes to Frank. Frank's got a fun team, doesn't he? Doesn't he? Let's look at Frank's team a little deeper here. 
Um, he's going the no closer route as well. Only three stars. This lineup the offense is just banging right now. Strider, Scooble, and Joe Ryan as the top three starters. See where he builds with the rest of his uh, his rotation here. That's here. This is a fun one to watch, Frank. You're definitely, you know, well, I don't play any favorites here, but uh, you're definitely one that I've I've found to be a, a very interesting draft. I like your strategy. I like your picks. I like where you're going with uh, with a lot of this stuff. You're definitely moving and grooving, baby. Um, I'm a fan. I am definitely a fan. Let's see. Oh, shit. It's coming back to me pretty quickly. Where it is. Where is Michael King in my sheet? Oh, I might have. Huh, I marked him off already. Dirty, 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 dirty. All right. Bailey Ober off the board as well. So, where's it going for Bender? Where's it going for Bender? Now, I could just go back to the pitching here. Oh, you know what? Yeah, our good friend uh, Jamie, he looks like he's uh, eyeballing some pitching. So do I want to go? Let's do Let's do another starter, shall we? Let's do that because he's definitely – he's got, you know, Seawald and Durham, but he's only got Nola and Seawald. So – want to make sure that if I'm going to want to take a picture here soon, I'm going to want to do it uh, a little ahead of, uh, of where he is at. So where is the picture I want uh, listed here? There he is, a little further down in the ranks. Hunter Brown going to Howard Bender. Hunter Brown. Um, mark him off on my sheet. Yeah, I, I I have a lot of shares of Hunter Green. And still don't know where Jordan Montgomery is gonna land. I like Hunter Brown a little bit better than I like uh, Jose Barrios. Just for those of you who are following along with what's going on, I'm scared to death of Carlos Rodon. Verlander's not gonna be back early enough. See, all right, so he got good. He went with you, Darvish. Uh, great pick there. Great pick there, but as expected, he wanted to go pitching, so I, I got my guy. Now the question is, is where do I else want to go? And uh, let's see. Did I miss him in this? Let's see. Oh, he just got back to some spring at-bats. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Oh, he's gone, and I missed him crossing him off. See, that's that's why you got to do it, people. That's why you got to just keep paying attention. I'm probably multitasking a little bit more than I should, but here we go. Here we go. All right. Still waiting on him. Hmm, I'm afraid if I take this next guy, I'm going to have batting average issues. But he is going to give me some steals, and he is going to give me some power. And it's definitely not bow nailer. I wasn't looking at that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Hmm. I'm torn here between two players, but I'm going to go with the position that I need to help out Phil here as well. So I'm just going to go with Ian Happ. Right, gets me some power, gets me some speed. Got him right here. What I got him in the in the fifteenth round. I've got him in the uh, in the cheat sheet as a late thirteenth round guy. So it's 
probably the better overall move for me. Although now I got him and I got Alvarez. <laughs> I might need a little batting average help, right? Pete Alonzo. Although I don't think Alonzo is going to hit nearly as for as poor an average as last time. What was his? He had like a like a two hundred three Babbitt or something insane like that. What was his Babbitt? Uh, go to the right site here and make sure that I'm uh, showing everybody what they need. Yes, we're good. I always, always, always have a Fangraphs page open. Shout out to my boys over at Fangraphs. If you guys don't know, I used to write for uh, their Rotograph section. I don't know, like 10 years ago, maybe something like that. I always love those guys. It's one of my favorite sites. It's one of the greatest sites of all time. My, my boy Ariel Cohen, his ATC product projections are here. Um, Derek Cardi's The Bat, those are, uh, those are sitting there as well. So um, I always like to... Uh, you know, shout out those who, uh, you know, I worked with in the past and whatever. Yeah, what was it? 205. It was a 205 BABIP last year. That ain't happening. That's not happening this year. He's not going to have a 205 BABIP. If he has a 205 BABIP, I might just, you know, slam my head in the door a thousand times. But, uh, oh, Kerry Carpenter comes off the board. See, I needed to go outfield and I went outfield. And there we go. Some interesting names still there. Uh, Jose Alvarado just comes off the board here. So people are trickling in some closers still. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, let's let's see whose who's draft can we look at here and uh, and pick on. I don't want to pick on him, but let's see. Uh, we'll just I'll start with, uh, with, with the guy who's uh, Fools Goldschmidt right here sitting in front of me. Oh, Bowden grabs Jonathan India. Let's see. That's a spicy play, JB. We talked about that one. We talked about that one. Yeah, I was kind of eyeballing him uh, in that round. Damn. We talked about this on Friday, right? I mean, he's he's in there for full-time at-bats. He's got a little bit of speed. He's going to hit for some power. Um, I, dang. I always love that. All right, Nimmo and Henry Davis off the board as well. Like that Henry Davis pick again, Frank is going to have that catcher eligibility uh, coming up in uh, in no time. So good stuff there. Good stuff there. Hunter Green goes to Paul. Big fan of Hunter Green. I'm just really heavy on him in uh, in a number of leagues right now. And you know, I'm not always a, a big diversify kind of guy. How did I miss seeing Eloy Jimenez going in the uh, in the last round there to Scott? How the hell did I miss that, Scott? Bubba, you think you think you got trade bait for him over there, Eloy? Come on, man, it's my boy. Damn, that makes me sad. <laughs> Oh, all right. Let's just, you know, let it, let it be said that the, the pick that shook me this, uh, this draft was the Christian Encarnacion strand pick by Kim. The one that saddens me immensely here is the Eloy Jimenez pick by Scott. Well, crap munchers. That's what I have to say about that. Crap munchers. Where did I put? <sighs> hmm. 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 What to do? What to do? Let me consult. Hmm. Candelario and McMahon back to back. Candelario. Mark them off. <coughs> I'm okay with Candelario. Ryan McMahon, I know I've said it. Even the ugly hitters get a second look when they uh, play half their games uh, in Coors Field. However, <coughs> haven't we just, you know, perpetually been waiting and waiting and waiting for McMahon and, uh, and Brendan Rodgers 
uh, to be that dynamic middle infield or left side of the infield, whatever the hell, like for so many years. And they just, they never deliver. They never deliver. Wags with the TJ Friedel pick. Interesting on that one there. Friedel with a busted arm. Mark that down. I'm going to have to correct that. I was supposed to. Oh, Jordan Romano. That's a nice bargain right there. Around 16, Jordan Romano. I like that. I like that. I, I That is definitely, you know, if he's fine, I, I think there's there's a lot to be had there. A lot to be had. Um, all right. Where are we going? I, I should start paying attention more to where am I going with my next pick. I think I know where I want to go. I'm pretty sure I know where I want to go. <laughs> yeah. It's one or the other here. They're both right about in the same spot in the uh in the cheat sheet. Oh, uh, let's see. Let me mark down. Oh, Tanner Scott off the board. Steve Kwan also off the board. Nathaniel Lowe. Bowden with the J.D. Martinez pick. I, I like the dude's bad and clean up. Dude's bad and clean up. It, it, it's for the mediocre Mets, but dude's bad and clean up. Nathaniel Lowe comes off the board. Oh, shit. <laughs> Where am I going? All right. Lourdes Gurriel comes off the board right in front of me. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Here's where I'm going to go. Here's where I'm going to go. Um, hmm. Yeah. All right. I think this is where I'm going to go. I got to do a search. Oh, did somebody take him? How did I miss him? Uh-oh. Wait a second. Let's go to all... Sorry, I'm clicking around here, but oh, I guess somebody took them. Now I got to go back and look. All right. Well, shit. Where is he on the draft board? Oh, oh, he went all the way back in round 10. Holy shit. I definitely don't know how I missed that one there. So bang him off of the board there. And I just took Reese Hoskins, who, I mean, listen, it's, it's power. It's straight power. It's in Milwaukee. Should have Yelich hitting in front of him. I like that. I don't mind that at all. Um, all right. Interesting though. Very, very interesting on how that went. I um yeah, see again. This is this is the bridge. When you're drafting, you gotta focus, you gotta be in right there and just make sure that you are tuned in to what's going on in your draft. So let's see where he goes with his picks. Let me see where I'm going with some of mine. Yeah, yeah. Oh, ooh, ooh. All right. I'm back to being intrigued again. I am back to being intrigued again. He takes Verlander. Uh, 
Hauser. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Colton Kowser. All right. Where am I going now? Huh. Um, all right. There's another player we talked about on, uh, on Friday's show. It's again, helps me round out the outfield more. You get some power, get some speed. Going to be struggling at batting average, but it gives me that pirate to dangle over towards, you know, Josh Wagner, maybe I need to make a trade or something like that. Maybe, maybe Sawinski is the uh, is the way to go. Interesting that Cowser pick. I mean, I dig it. I definitely dig it. He's gonna be in a you know. There, there's gonna be a rotation there, but I cannot speak out against it. That is a solid move. Solid move. All right, Barrios and Melendez off the board. Um, Jesus. I have Melendez so far down. I got no faith in the guy. Oh, there you go. Bowden takes James Wood. He gets one of his boys. He gets his little stash guy. Uh, all right. Okay. Jim Bowden, you sly little shit. Look at you. Good job. James Wood. <laughs> Where is he? Yoshida. Mm -mm -mm. All right. See this like hosting and everything. I'm not even I wasn't even thinking about James Wood at that point. I mean, I guess again, probably should. I write that, you know, in, in the article, um, usually on a regular basis. Know thy enemy, right? Sun Tzu, the art of war. Uh, you gotta know what everybody else is doing, what everybody else is about. Um, all right, let's see. What's some conversation here? I gotta don't sleep on Giancarlo Stanton. <laughs> Uh, somebody's talking DR. No, Bo Jackson with your next pick. I like that. I've got Hap almost every roster this year. All right, me and Obi Wan Outlaw. There we are on the uh, on the Ian Hap train. Um, Rizzo shaking off last. Yes, hopefully, hopefully. What happened with Bowden not drafting closers? Who did he take? I Oh, Hader. You know what? You know, the funny thing is, you know what? That's actually kind of funny. I didn't realize that it was Jim that took Hader. But I will say this. Uh, Jim did warn us. Um, I guess it was like a week or two ago where Jim said that he was, he did an interview with Josh Hader and had such a great time in the interview uh, that he said that Hader has convinced him that in a draft coming up, he was gonna take uh, he was gonna take Josh Hader. I didn't even realize that it was Jim uh, un until this moment. I don't know. Maybe I thought it was uh, Scott's team who did that. But all right, so there you go. So so we've now uh, we we've seen it. Jim said that he was gonna do it, and that's what happened. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yes, he preaches no closes early, but I just told you that why. I told you why. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, more Rizzo talk here. Oh, don't give me this stuff. Better check in periodically there, Mikey Stencil. Islanders tickets. Dude, the Islanders blow, dude. Draft from your phone. Nobody cares about the Islanders. I know it's Holden's birthday, but by the way, happy birthday, Holden. He's the, uh, he's the all-state swimmer that I was just saying to everybody about. Okay, where are we going? Let me mark off some more names off of this. Holy crap. Dang. There's some shit going on. 
some shit going on. Pavetta, whatever. Bryce Miller, I like that pick. I like the Bryce Miller pick. Where are you on my cheat sheet? There you are. Mark you off. Justin Turner, Tyler Stevenson. Ugh. Paul, I hate the Justin Turner pick. I'm just not a Turner fan. Never been. Adam Ronas loves Justin Turner. Loves him. I just can't get behind it anymore. Uh, Stevenson. Ooh, I just noticed that. Uh, oh, no, he's off the board. Look at that, Brian. I was just about to say something about Luis Camposano. Uh, where's the GM? He's got Mitch Garver. The GM does not have a second catcher. Maybe he was hoping that Camposano was going to slip by. It did not happen. Tovar off the board. Lars Newtbar off the board. All right. So we're coming back around here towards me. Exciting stuff, no doubt about it. Again, big thank you to everybody who's here. Um, appreciate y'all watching. If you're tuning in here over on uh, the Fantasy Alarm YouTube page, uh, much appreciate that. Oh, see, he heard it. He smiled good. I'm glad that that Holden heard that. Uh, that, that you know, I've known Holden since again. Like, he was like a sea monkey, right? I remember Holden back in the day. So I love the uh, I love the the all state swimming dude. Absolutely killing it. Um, yeah. I appreciate uh, that. Holden, Holden was like, wow, man, it was like one of the first pie bets that we did were Holden uh, and uh, Holden was dressed up as the Joker, uh, right? Holden did the Joker video that we had and, uh, and smashed his dad in the face. That was, some, <laughs> that was some good shit. Oh, the Christopher Sanchez pick. Frank, Frank, you old so-and-so you. You're killing me, Smalls. These are some like again. This is you know obviously the uh, the the risk that you take drafting alongside the fantasy alarm family. Kim with her Homer Kenley Jansen pick. <laughs> Charlie Morton, Paul Skeens off the board. Where's Skeens on my sheet? I don't even know. He's there somewhere. Come on. Where's Paul Skeens? I'll find him. Uh, Will Benson and Craig Kimbrell off the board. Benson. You guys remember the TV show Benson? Hmm? Robert Guillaume? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, come on. This is drafted alongside Bender on a Sunday, baby. Come on. Brent Rooker off the board. Where am I going with my next pick? So many different spots to go here. So many different spots to go. I'm kind of excited. Kind of excited. I'm going to go... I'm going to go off the board here with my next pick. I'm going to go off the board. I, you know, no, I probably shouldn't. Yeah, but I'm going to. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Elias Diaz. Yeah, get that. Get that catcher, Mikey. Where's Elias? Let me cross that name off my board. Um, All right. Yeah, I'm going to do this because I'm going to. I'm gonna ride or die, and this is this is this is where I'm gonna go up against uh, our friend Paul here, right? So Paul, you were uh, you were you were up for uh, that last spot, and uh, and and the other caller uh, had a really good, strong, convincing argument on uh, on his player and his pitch uh, to the point where I was almost leaning towards there, but I said that the GM had the final say, uh, and GM could pick his guy, so. Uh, you know, I'll tell you what, if, if this player dominates and dazzles the way we hope he does, or the caller thought that he would, um, then I could throw it in your face and say, Paul, uh, why couldn't you have been more like the caller who gave us Parker Meadows? 
Parker Meadows. So yeah, I'm going to use that as like, you know, just, just verbal ammunition, just verbal ammunition against you. It's, it's an obvious reach according to what I've got in the cheat sheet here, but we're having some fun with these picks and, uh, and there we go. So let's see, I'll go back to the cheat sheet. Uh, here and go to a, a nice sensible spot. We are deep in this draft here. I should probably scroll that up a little bit so that everybody can see how many rounds that we've got left. We go to 28 rounds, and here we go. Oh, the Starling Marte pick. I couldn't, I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do another one, couldn't do another Matt. Um, all right. What am I looking for here? What am I looking for here? I am looking for... Oh, he takes Kodai Senga. Interesting. Interesting. Um, where's my team? All right. Yeah. That's an interesting pick. Do I... Bank on the, the rebound? I almost don't want to. And so I don't think I will. I don't think I will. I think I'll just, uh, huh. You know what? On the off chance that Jim Bowden convinces Rocco Baldelli to join the team, I've got a picture on my Instagram, you know, posted uh of uh of this illustrious utility man um wearing a fish shirt so in honor of that and hopefully i'll get to talk to baldelli a little bit more uh i'll grab byron buxton i will make the move for the oft injured round 19 selection here of byron buxton and we'll just kind of see what happens it's not a player i like to take but there is definitely some ceiling there. We'll see what happens by him not playing center field. I don't hate it. The Ryan Helsley pick, that's an interesting one. Getting that extra closer there. Oh, I haven't touched pitch. My pitching. Wow, let's see my pitching. Hunter Brown, Merrill Kelly. Jeez, look at that. Grayson Rodriguez, Dylan Cease. All right. I have to address some pitching here uh, late in this draft. Probably should have gone pitching instead of Buxton, but I really didn't give a shit. I really didn't care. I wasn't too upset by that. Ranger Suarez off the board. Ranger Suarez. Where is he? He's floating around somewhere. There he is. There he is. Young Hu Lee. Yeah, that was probably a, a batting average guy I should have gone after. I'm going to struggle with the B.A. Very likely. Christian Javier off the board. Okay. Good there. Alejandro Kirk. All right. Interesting. Interesting. All right. So I got a ton of different directions that I can go here. Y'all better bulk up on pitching right now because when it comes back to my end, I'm probably going to be taking a pitcher or two. Just letting you know. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm trying to throw you off. We'll see. You know what it's time for. That's right. I'll turn my mic off. Although there's no crunching involved here. But I feel like I need a, a round 20 lunch break. So let's shout out to our illustrious friends and Maybe, you know, potential sponsor, Uncrustables, because it's one of the greatest snacks of all time. I'm going with the grape right here. I've had the grape, the strawberry. I have not had the uh, chocolate slash hazelnut slash Nutella option. But there you go. I'm going to catch up on the board. And I'm going to eat an Uncrustable. So good. So good. Hmm. J 
Jared Kelnick off the board. Christian Javier off the board. Merrifield Drury. I am just not a Brandon Drury guy. That's another one that I just I can't get behind. I don't know. I just maybe I just didn't believe in it. Eduardo Rodriguez. Oh, see, there you go. You guys just wised up. You started taking some pitching there. Eduardo Rodriguez. I like that Adbert Alzale pick. Very underrated Cubs closer here. I don't mind that one at all. Brian Wu off the board. Okay. Would I rather have a guy like Jackson Merrill on my bench or Brandon Nimmo? Um, I mean, if you're shooting for OBP, then Nimmo. But I think that Merrill is going to give you a decent enough run scored, uh, you know, some potential power, a little bit more power, power maybe. Yeah, I think I'd rather have Merrill just, uh, just on the upside aspect of it. That's kind of where I'm I'm leaning. That's kind of where I'm at. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Jorge Polanco. Brandon Fotwags. I like that pick, buddy. I like that pick. Savali. Very interesting. Very interesting. Snack time over. I'd like to once again thank our uh, unofficial sponsor of Uncrustables. Smuckers. Mm, mm, mm. What a great move. What a great move. What a great snack. Did that tide me over? Did that take care of me enough? I don't know. But it should. Mason Miller. Mason Miller. Mark him off, Carlos Correa. <laughs> Which way do I go? Which way do I go? Which way do I go? Oh, it's on me. Oh, Robert Suarez, Kyle Browns. Look at all those pictures going in front of me. Way to pay attention, people. You guys are like, oh, Bender's going to do some bitching. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Where to go? Hmm. Uh, I really like this kid, and I know the GM kind of warned me off a little bit, but I do think Kyle Harrison puts it together. I do. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. I think he makes it happen. Where is he on my sheet? Where the hell did he go on my sheet? There he is. She's Louise. 
the eyesight it's just not what it used to be um all right so now i'm gonna go He went Trevor Story. It's a good pick. I mean, for the, the time that he did it. It's okay. Oh, love story. Presley. Really? That's an interesting one. No faith in Josh Hader? That I find to be a very, very interesting pick. Huh. Hmm. I, I actually, I don't even know how I feel about that pick. Um, I mean, if you just believe that Josh Hader is going to be, you know, going to crap the bed, then maybe I'm going to, uh, I'm going to take a guy who I know is going to get some saves nice and early. That's right. Going to take my boy, Alex Lang, Alex Lang, get my second closer there. I feel good. I got Closers on competitive teams, right? I've got Munoz and Lang. Um, you know, I'll have to keep an eye on Foley with one of my last picks, maybe, um, just to uh, make sure, right? Look at that. Yanir Cano, Jose Leclerc, they go next. Is that Bowden's team? One, two, three, right? Fifth? Bradish and Leclerc. Interesting. Very interesting. All right. Now we're diving in, baby. Now we're diving in. Let's go, motherfucker. Oh, am I not allowed to say a bad word like that? Uh, okay. <clears throat> I didn't say nothing. I didn't say a thing. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about, anybody. All right. Bryant and Kepler off the board. There's so many players available here. Holy crap. Boy, I got to tell you, man, 12 teamers. Ah, I'm so glad. I'm so sick of doing all these 15 teamers where it's like, you know, we're in round 21. And I'm just like, ugh, this is dog crap. Ugh, this guy stinks. Ugh, no way. Ah, I like this. I like this. Sedani Raffaella. Sedani Raffaella. That would have been a pick I would have thought you would have made there, Kim. I thought that would have been like, you know, the ultimate homer pick for you. Uh, but it, you, you bypass him for, for Kepler. Ryan Jeffers behind the plate. Okay. There is so much talent out there still. And I, you know, listen, I get it. There's a lot of... Uh, category specific stuff that you're, you're looking at. And that's, you know, that that's fine. That's what you should be looking for uh, at this stage of the game. But, you know, just let this be a lesson to you when you're talking about drafting in a 12 team league, because I'm looking at, you know, some names that are still on the board. And, uh, and I think that we are in very, very good spots to, you know, if you want to beef up on some power, Speed is going to be an issue. Speed is probably going to be an issue for you late here, which is why, you know, it, it just we, one of the things that we've been preaching is if you if you don't get in the first round, you're your guy who steals bags too. You need power steal combo. The top seven picks, uh, eight possibly even, should be power speed combos. So if you take, you know, like Juan Soto or Aaron Judge later on in that first round, you need to make sure that guys like C.J. Abrams and Nico Horner uh, are on your radar. Even a guy like Estuary Ruiz, although people are overdrafting him, uh, and I think, you know, we saw this here in, in, in this draft here that Estuary Ruiz went early. People who are in need of speed are going to do that. So you know, that's why we say you, you go after that speed early on in your draft. And if you don't, 
you know, then you have to try and like load up with guys who are going to give you a little something of both, right? A little bit of power and a little bit of speed so that they're, they're constantly contributing across the board. Cause once you get down to this level here, I mean, there's, there's no speed to be had, you know, there, there, I mean, listen, there are some, some guys who might snag a base or two here, but overall, you know, there is, I mean, you know, yes. Yeah, I'm looking at it. You know, maybe if you're looking like super, super deep, there's somebody there. But there's nothing in speed. Power, though, power galore. It's all over the place down here. And uh, and that's what you want to, you know. So so to be able to like just sit and wait on the power. Where did AJ Puck go? I just saw him on my sheet. And now I can't find him. I just want to cross him off. It is not a pick that I like. I do not like the AJ Puck pick. I don't. I understand the hype. I just, what kind of innings are you going to get out of AJ Puck this year? What are you going to get from him? I don't even think, did I, did I even like, did I take him out of the cheat sheet just out of spite? I mean, it wouldn't be really out of spite, but just in the sense that. He's just not a guy I go after. He is not a guy I go after at all. J.P. Crawford, Tyler O'Neill off the board. J.P. Crawford, Tyler O'Neill. Sorry, I'm like trying to go through all of these names and make sure I cross him off. This guy's dead, so cross him off. Shout out to Major League. Great movie. Great movie. Kevin Williams. All right, what the frick? Where am I going? Where am I going? What am I doing? Who am I taking? Hmm. Bowden goes with Rizzo. I like that pick. I do indeed. <laughs> All right, Joel Payamps goes. I like that pick. We'll see if he splits the work with uh, Abner Uribe, who I believe the GM likes a little bit more. Oh, I see Joey Manessi's off the board. All right, so... Given the room, given who all you peoples are, um, I'm going to have to do a little reach move here and take a player. It's probably a little early for him, but knowing no one Bowden, no one Wags, no one Shan. No one Paul from St. Louis. Yeah. I think if I'm going to want some stolen bases this late, then you're going to end up having to reach for a player who might not even be there on opening day. Maybe he will. Victor Scott. Victor Scott. I will happily stash him to see if he lands in that spot for me. Um, I'm fine doing it. Make sure I get some stolen bases there. I feel good about that. Now, where do I want to go? Now, where do I want to go after this? Um, hmm. Eugenio Suarez off the board. Eugenio Suarez. All right, I know where I'm going to go next. I know where I'm going to go, and I'm going to take a shot on a player. We'll see. Talked about second chances in life, right? Well, I probably shouldn't mention it until Fools Goldschmidt makes his pick. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Ooh, 
clock's ticking. Where are you going? Don't take my guy. Don't take my guy. Please don't take my guy. Don't take my guy. It's probably too early to take my guy here anyway, but I'm still going to do it. I'm still going to do it. I'm still going to do it. <laughs> if... If you had to, here we go again. Where's where's my drop, Josh Wagner? T -t Today, Junior. All right, where are we going? It's tail end of this draft here. Shit's going down. Bender's looking to make some moves. Junior Caminero. That's uh, listen. I'm not gonna hate on that pick at all. It's a good stash. Um, I'm going to say that I believe in second chances and I do hope that the personal issues are behind them. And you know what? This guy was a 300 for four straight seasons before last season for four straight years. He was a 300 hitter. I mean, batting second in the lineup with Luis Arise, uh, setting the table for him here. He could also contribute in some steals for me as well. My middle infielder, Tim, I can't take a punch. Anderson, right? We've all seen the video of him getting knocked up out by uh, by Jose Ramirez. But come on, Jose Ramirez is a bull. Tim Anderson, a little waif. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna grab that. We're, we're gonna see what happens there. We're gonna see what happens. So here we come. We're coming down to it, folks. Uh, we're just building our benches at this point. Well, I mean, you know, we're building our benches, but we're also, you know, maybe there's a spot to do uh let's see let's mark off some more players here somehow i missed the, this guy came off the board let's see who else fudge ripple <laughs> Abbott and Kikuchi off. Taiwan Walker off. I got to mark him down. Where do I have him on the sheet? <laughs> In a little world called Nowheresville. Mm, 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 mm. He gone. He gone. He gone. He, he gone. Oh, Bowden with that slick Colt Keith pick. You know I like it, baby. You know I like it. Bowden going after that uh that late upside. Oh, I just realized that it was Jim Bowden who took Young Hu Lee. What's up with that, Jim? What's up with that? Getting a little potential batting average help you told me you didn't want? Mm hmm. See, I feel like this is gonna this is gonna breed some good fights, some good spiteful content over on the uh fantasy alarm show. So, you know, again, if you're listening in on this one here on this draft, uh, if you if you took part in this draft, if you're just following along with this draft, triple eight nine six three. 2682. That's the number to call tomorrow, Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday, Monday, 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, as we uh as we definitely are gonna do battle here. Uh Josh and Shan are gonna talk about their teams. Uh Jim and I'll talk about ours. Uh, but yeah, always happy to have some uh some guests call in here. Tell us your strategies, your thought process. Uh, should I have just shut up and not live stream this entire draft maybe that's the case uh but we'll see we'll see um i tried to you know help teach a little bit along the way or give some uh some insights uh obviously offered if uh, if anybody had any questions to uh to chime in uh, let me check back over here at youtube and see if anybody's got let's see dun 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 
Uh, heard you guys. Your strategy is wise. Heard you talk about it. I'm not sure which one that is, Brian, but okay. Uh, <laughs> my strategy drafted two or three a.m. and hope my opponents are drunker than I am. Angelo, I like that strategy, man. I definitely like that strategy. Good stuff. <laughs> Um, ba, 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 some Donovan he loves, Stanton, Cal Ripken, Joey Votto. All right. Shit. It's all coming back now. It's all coming back. Let's see. Huh. Huh. All right. Where is Bender going with his next couple of picks here? I am, I am not upset about what's kind of fallen my way. Interesting names here. Still available. Again, some really interesting names still available. Still. Still. Where are we going to go? Who are we going to take? So much available here. Um, hmm. Well, this has been a fun draft, guys. I'm going to tell you. Oh, Giancarlo Stanton goes. Um, you all drafted alongside us here. Some absolutely fantastic teams, good builds, strong stuff. I haven't seen – I mean, I've seen a couple of reaches, but I haven't seen anything, you know, in this draft that has me thinking, well, this dude was a moron or this lady was an idiot. I think everybody did an absolutely fantastic job building their teams, uh, which, you know – also makes me proud. You listen to the Fantasy Alarm Show. You're heeding the advice. You're building teams wisely. I, I'm definitely, I, I, I dig that. So, you know, if you're just catching us here, I've been drafting with the Fantasy Alarm Cheat Sheet. If you've got a draft Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, right, leading up to opening day, do yourself a favor. Uh, if you don't have the cheat sheet, go to fantasyalarm.com slash MLB cheat sheet. You got my full set of rankings on there, full draft grid. Uh, updated with round suggestions, everything like that. Um, you get all my positional rankings, that top 350 that everybody hates, that everybody loves, but I hate. Uh, sleepers, busts, rookie talk. There's all sorts of that stuff uh, hanging around over there. Oh, it's my pick. I am on the clock. Okay. All right. Where am I going? Where's daddy going? Huh, huh, huh. I want to stash. I don't like it, but maybe I will. Right? Since we've got an IL, I'm just going to grab Robbie Ray here. Take that strikeout upside. Maybe that'll kind of help me out a little bit. I feel like that's a, a fine spot for Robbie Ray as I just kind of build through things. Um. Where do I want to go after Robbie Ray? That's an interesting question as well. He takes Severino. Ah. All right. Let's see who he takes here. I got another second chance guy. Another second chance guy here that Jim and I just talked about. Whether it was Thursday or Friday. I don't remember which show. I said I was hesitant. I said I wasn't sure if I believed. But he's having an amazing spring. Not throwing a lot of pitches this spring. But still having a great time. And he got the opening day nod. So let's, uh, let's test it out here with a little Frankie Montas. All right, there we go. And then Mount Castle off the board. 
uh, right afterwards. So mm, mm, mm. coming down to the tail end of it, last four rounds here. Uh, good stuff. Uh, Obi Wan Outlaw, I'm glad you're uh, you're you're enjoying the live stream. Thank you very much. What's up, Gator? What up, dude? Um, Brian says it's been a last thing. Great. Uh, uh, listen, I, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate it very, very much. Uh, Britt Flynn does Arkansas baseball. So Angela, if you want to talk Arkansas baseball, University of Arkansas, she's got you covered uh, over there. Gator says, good thing I was not drafting. I would have been the idiot. Oh, uh, you know, listen, I don't think so. I don't think so. You sell yourself short a little bit there, Gator. Um, Sandoval or Canning, not too bad, but I think Gavin Stone is a sleeper. Listen, I think, you know, yeah, I don't mind Gavin Stone as a potential sleeper. I really don't. Oh, speaking of which, let me see if this guy's still on the board. Maybe I'll take him. Ooh, let's see if I could take him with my next pick. I'll tuck him in my queue and see what happens here. Don't take my guy. Don't take my guy. Um, all right, man, this has been, uh, it's been a ton of fun. I'm definitely enjoying myself. You guys are doing great. We're going to be talking about this league throughout the entire season. So good thing you've all like, you know, kind of hung here with us, uh, and gotten through it. I'm anticipating, uh, uh excuse my French, but I'm, ex I'm expecting a fucking great season for MLB this year. Great season. I'm going to be doing the waiver wire article all season long. Oh, oh, did I scroll around? Did I not scroll around? Oh, that was me earlier. <laughs> um, so anyway, so, so this season, right, we've got, you know, like Joe Galeen is going to still be doing the, the bullpen report and the closer grid. Matt Sell is going to be doing the prospects. Uh, I'm going to be doing the waiver wire work and Colby Conway is going to be doing the injury work. So the two of us are definitely like, we're putting a, a whole shitload into this. Um, I'm also going to be hosting right here on the fantasy alarm YouTube page, uh, the MLB DFS live stream, uh, the night before I'm going to record a video talking about the next day's slate and, uh, and some, some early thoughts on that. And then at 4 PM Eastern, I'm going to be hosting the fantasy alarm live stream. DFS MLB live stream at 4 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and that's going to catch you up on lineups that are in already, uh, you know, some injury news, some weather updates, everything like that. So uh, neck deep in, into the baseball season. I'm super jazzed up about it. Uh, everybody on the team is super excited about it. For you DFS players, uh, Henry Idahoff comes back again for, uh, for some MLB playbook action. Jason Radowitz. Uh, joins the Fantasy Alarm team. He's going to be doing the playbook a few times a week as well. Um, I'm going to have Best Bets article. Me, Josh Wagner, Dan Servadidio going to be working on that. Uh, so you'll have Best Bets for MLB every day this week. Uh, you know, every every day of the, the week for the season. So seven days a week on that front. We got you covered everywhere. Fantasyalarm.com slash all pro. If you want to get that that full on subscription, because I highly recommend it, because not only do you get that, but you also get us in Discord as well, and you can hit us up uh, in Discord the entire time. Um, oh, I got to refresh something. I'm seeing like some notes here. Let's see. Do I need to refresh your screen? I hope not. No, I think somebody was talking to somebody else. We'll see. Either way, anyway. Lots of baseball stuff coming up here. Lots of fun stuff throughout the entire season. Uh, you're going to want to take care of that. Oh, the Discord. That's right. So not only do you have access to us in Discord, and you can just you know tag us and ask your questions, but on top of that also, uh, Andrew Cooper is running this whole thing called uh, Discord Badges, uh, and he's assigning people. So if you guys uh, are in this draft here right now and you have a subscription to Fantasy Alarm and you're in our Discord, uh, you should hit up Coop and let him know that you're here. Uh, you're doing this draft because that's eligible for uh, Discord badges. If should you win this league, should you finish top three in this league, uh, we're gonna have you covered over there. So uh, you know, I think he's uh, you know you can find Coop. It's at just dot you know type in at Coop um, in the uh, the MLB clubhouse or questions area and remind him uh, about the badges. Um, 
and, and we'll go from there. So lots of fun stuff happening with this league throughout this entire season. I'm super pumped up about it. I love playing with uh, just cool as shit people who, you know, are having a good time. It's one of the things I love so much about FA Nation uh, and the Discord. Yeah, you get people who are antsy and stuff like that and get a little grumpy every now and again. But you also, for the most part, you get some really cool freaking people. Um, and that's that's what this whole family is all about to me, right? I say this all the time. My family is this family. Um, and I, I commit myself to it year in, year out because – I think, you know, all the people I've met along the way are just, you know, super great people. In this draft here, I mean, I get to know, I've, I've gotten to know uh, Cam and Mike Stencil a ton over the years, um, two absolutely spectacular people. So I'm hoping that I can, you know, forge similar friendships with uh, everybody else who's in here, unless you take my freaking guys. Frank, I'm looking at you, buddy. I'm looking at you. Hmm. Frank, 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 what am I going to do with you? All right, I got to go back to this draft. Stop pitching the products here, Bender, and uh, get your ass into your draft here. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I'll be one outlaw got his, uh, his winner's badge. Good job. All right. Where the hell am I going with my next pick? Where am I going? Who am I taking? I don't like any of these freaking names. There's some there's some gross shit down here, man. Kind of yucky. I put him into my queue and him into my queue. Huh. Bowden's going to take my guys. I know it. I know he's going to take my guy right now. Who took Wander Franco? Sham Blunt. You can't take Wander Franco. You can't take him. Guy should be killed. Can't stand him. Gross. The evidence is piled up. Shan Blunt. Shan Blunt. It's a terrible pick. A terrible pick, and it makes me sad. Mm -hmm. Wow, we've done a very good job of picking this room clean. Very good job of picking this room clean. Oh, that should be a nice pickup. That can go into my queue. All right, see, I'm just loading guys up in my queue. Kirby Yates. Kirby Yates. Um, oh, Will Smith, Josh Bell. All right, I'm going to grab <clears throat> this guy first. Well, DJ LeMayhew, right? Some runs scored. Doesn't love a little run scored action there. He's also got some multi position eligibility. I can move him around a little bit. Um, I know where I'm going with my next pick. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh. <laughs> Shout out to Justin Fensterman. Ooh, Fensty. Um, all right. Yeah. Did he make the rotation? I got to see if he made the rotation. Excuse me one second while I look up this player real quick. I believe he did make the rotation. He did. That's right. Official word came out. So I'm grabbing him right now. I like him. Let's give it up for that high fastball of Casey Mize, the four-seamer, baby. He's been working on it, been moving and grooving it, has looked good this spring with it. Let's see how he develops uh, across the way, and, uh, and we'll go from there. Uh, there is a glut of first base third corner guys here for uh, Mikey Stencil sitting on auto pick. Probably should have bulked up a little bit more in that uh, in that queue. Jan Gomes off the board. Jan Gomes, Bowden. That's your that's your number two catcher, dude. Jan Gomes. Come on. 
Goo. Boo. <laughs> All right, here we are. Rounding out the last of the picks here, peoples. Rounding out the last of the picks. Let's stretch that out so everybody can see those end names there for uh, for Brian's team. All right. I see you, Frank. He's saying that. Yeah, loyal listener. Ooh, Frank, if you don't call up on Monday, dude, we got beef. We got beef all day because I've been praising your stupid team all day, praising your stupid draft. You better be in that uh, and call on Monday. Uh, sometime in the uh, in the you know, in the beginning, you know, dial us up at like you know, I don't know, like six twenty-five. How about that? Six twenty-five p.m. Eastern. Uh, we'll jump on that because we got lots to talk about here uh, with this draft. Brian Fuller says, just call me the champ. Ah, I like that moxie, kid. I like that moxie. Ugh, I don't like that Noel V. Marte pick there. Sham Blunt, what are you doing? What's happening? Noel V. Marte, you can't put that even. That guy's not on the I.L. That dude's suspended. Him and Wander Franco. These are picks. Oh, she must be at her engagement party right now. Is that what it is, Shan? Shan or Nanner? Are you at your engagement party now? And 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 so it's like just destroying your queue here with uh, with horrible, uh, horrible picks. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Uh, for those of you uh, taking part, uh, we will have, I believe, waivers uh, runs tonight. If you want, it's you know, I don't think you do, but well, Shan will. Shan, you'll you'll probably need some waiver action there on uh, on Sunday night here. So uh wanna make some of those moves. Yuki Matsui, I like that pick. I like that pick. That wasn't Frank again, was it? No, it was Paul. All right. All right. I don't want to give Frank like too big of an ego here uh the rest of the way. <laughs> oh shit, this has been fun. Great freaking draft, peoples. Great freaking draft. Um, yeah. Cheers to you all. Maybe y'all learned something about drafting. Maybe you didn't. I will say this. I love my team. As I, I sit here and I and I scroll through it, I, I do. I really do love my team. Uh, hearing this. Last round, I can just turn around and uh, and just highlight it right here, <clears throat> right? I got I love Julio, Alonzo, Seager, Pablo Lopez. My pitching right now: Lopez, Grayson Rodriguez, Dylan Cease, Merrill Kelly, Hunter Brown, Kyle Harrison, with with Munoz and Alex Lang just picking up the slack as my closers. Frankie Montas sitting here, a stash of Robbie Ray. Fucking Bender did a good job here. Uh, Hitting-wise, I mean, come on. Julio, Alonzo, Seager is great power. Royce Lewis, solid power. Low power speed. Stott speed. Francisco Alvarez and Gabriel Marino. Bang! bang. Double tap those catchers. I did that like, uh, like Kim did it over there with Real Muto and Smith, but I didn't pay as steep a price. Uh, should be good to see, uh, you know, how we, uh, how we match up here. Uh, some depth outfielders, Ian Happ, Jack Sawinski, my Parker Meadows pick shout out to, I got to find my dude on, uh, on Twitter X, whatever it is. I gotta find him and, uh, and see where it was. He's in my mention somewhere. Cause that's, that's going up against you. Uh, uh, uh Paul from St. Louis. So I can throw that in your face the entire time. The Byron Buxton nab. <laughs> oh, that's right. Cause uh because because Scott took Eloy. Right? It was Scott. It was Scott. Thanks a lot, Scott. Took Eloy. So I ended up having to go Buxton. I got a stash guy in Victor Scott who could be a speed demon. Some potential here, some upside here. My last pick. My last pick. Where do I want to go with my last pick? Holy crap. I think, right, I fill out everybody. I've got starters at every spot right now, so I'm not worried about that. 
but maybe with my last pick, do I want to go? Hmm. Do I want to go closer upside, or do I want to keep myself good and get get some some hitting depth in there? Like that's really that's what I need to to figure out. Where do I want to go? Where do I want to go? Some interesting names still out there. Very interesting names. That Colton Cowser pick that hurt me. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I like that Griffin Jacks pick. Who did that? That. Oh, Frank. Son of a bitch. Damn it. Frank. Frank. So that's it. That's that's me all year long now. Frank. <laughs> Ah, oh, there's the Cronenworth ad. That's a smart one there, Kim. I like that. I actually just wrote him up. Uh, there's a waiver wire article over at fantasyalarm.com, so you can uh, you can go check that out. Mm, 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 mm. Coming up on my last pick. Is there a name out there that I just – am I overlooking? Let's see. Up, oh, it's up to me. No, that guy's gone. All righty. Well, you know what? Let's go after a, a guy who could should be a closer, and uh, and this this could screw up the the pay amps pick for Mikey when I take Abner Uribe my last pick well guys this has been an absolute blast thank you so much everybody mr irrelevant goes robert stevenson uh and there it is and there you have it folks that's the way it goes this is our draft board here i'll post this at sirius xm fantasy uh tomorrow i'll tweet it out uh at roto buzz guy um again if you tuned in here for the live stream i thank you so much for joining us again fantasyalarm.com slash all pro. That's the subscription you want. You can buy the, uh, you can do it monthly or you can get 40% off if you do the annual subscription. If you got a last minute draft, fantasyalarm.com slash MLB cheat sheet. This sucker, this is the one you want, all right? Wait, I can, I can stop sharing the draft board here for a second. Yeah, there you go. That's the cheat sheet right there. Boom, full draft grid couple of pages all the names round suggestions everything like that so if you got a draft over in the next couple of days do that if you've got a uh, waiver wire action that you need to deal with for tonight i got an article over at fantasyalarm.com right now highlighting a number of waiver claims that you can do preseason. but again just want to thank everybody for joining in thank everybody who joined us here thank our illustrious friends over at uncrustables for being such badasses with a great product. Thank my good friends over at, uh, you know, Red Bull for uh, always dr delivering the, uh, the the key ingredient that I need. And, uh, yeah, everything else. I also want to thank my glaucoma medication for making all of this possible. So appreciate you guys. You can tune in to me tomorrow on the Fantasy Alarm Show. Me and Jim Bowden, Sham Blunt, Josh Wagner. I'll bet you Frank's going to show up, too. Uh, 888-963-2682. And, uh, and that's going to do it for us. So thank you so much again for being here, folks. I'm Howard Bender, Fantasy Alarm. Catch you next time.